Okay, and we are back. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the stream. It's me, it's MD Tenebris. I'm back again to bring you some more mediocre gaming. Below me on the screen, I have two links. There is a red link to my YouTube channel. That's the MD Tenebris Plays Pokemon YouTube channel. If you like what you see today, feel free to go and check it out. You can like, you can subscribe, click the bell. It will let you know when there are new videos available. The purple link is to my Twitch. That's where I am now. I'm here every Saturday at 2 p.m. and every Wednesday at 6.30. So if you want to come hang out, join the chat live, chill, play some Pokemon, that's all good. Feel free to do it here. Um, I also have in the information box a link to a Discord channel. If you want to go uh, and join that, feel free to do that. Um, you can get me offline, discuss deck building, uh, and anything else in general. So with that out of the way, let's get to today. All right, well, today, today, I'm going to be working on this Gengar EX deck. Um, I'm a big fan of the Gengar Pokemon. Oh, shit, hang on. All right. Yes, yeah, so, as I was saying, today, we'll be doing this Gengar EX deck. Big fan of Gengar the Pokemon, as you can see. Um, and it's kind of an interesting idea, right? You got the gnawing curse ability. Whenever your opponent attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their Pokemon, you put two damage counters on that Pokemon, right? So if you have like four of these on your bench, um, they're doing 80 damage every time they put an energy on, which is a pain in the fucking ass. I played against this. It was annoying as shit, so... We also have the Tricky Steps move. You may move an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon to one of their bench Pokemon. It's 160 damage, so you can basically take the energy and load it up onto a useless Pokemon, which is great, because when you discard them, or you make them reshuffle them, or you put them back in their hand, they can still access them. So this is uh, it's actually kind of sneaky fun. It's a little bit of disruption. What else do we have in this deck? We have... The Arbok, I saw this card, I fell in love with it. You got the Panic Poison for one energy. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned, confuted, and poisoned. Right, and you have Darkness Fang for 70. That's not that big a deal. So the Panic Poison is huge. Basically, you kind of want to either get your Gengar EX set up quick, but if you can't get your Gengar EX set up quick, having an Arbok, super useful. We also have the Radiant Sui and Sneasler in here. So during Pokemon checkup, put two more damage counters on your opponent's poison Pokemon. Meaning this is going to be doing 30 damage every time it hits the poison. And then we also have the Perilous Jungle in here. During Pokemon checkup, put two more damage counters on each poison's non-dark type Pokemon. Which will also synergize, hopefully, with the Sneasler. We have in here, because it's a third evolution, two stage. We got the Rare Candy in here. Um, we have Buddy Puffin, which gets you an extra two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less. You can put them on your bench. So it's really useful to have that. We've also got some Nest Balls. We've got the Arwen for the Rare Candy. Mesa goes so we can grab extra Pokemon. We do have the two Perilous Jungles, which is also highly important. Uh, we're playing the A-Spec Maximum Belt. Get a little more extra damage. Use uh, attacks used by the Pokemon. This card is attached to give you 50 more damage against your opponent's active Pokemon EX. Um, we also got some other stuff in here. Some fun, interesting, weird ones like Atticus. Can only use this if your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned. Uh, shuffle your hand and draw seven cards. So very uh, specific situations. Search your deck for a card that has no abilities and evolves from one of your Pokemon. Put it onto that of Pokemon to evolve it. Right? So we use that specifically for the Haunter or for the Arbok. That's a good one to get those as out. Um, and yeah, that's it. Basic breakdown of the deck. So let's... Uh, Let's roll. I'm gonna go and see uh, how the deck goes. We're gonna take it, take it for a spin. All right, we're going up against Ken Ken and Yan. <laughs> That's a pretty good name. I like that. Going up against Ken and Yan. Let me get a pen. I gotta make my little win loss chart without spilling my beer. Win loss chart. All right, and we got Ekans to start. We do have we have an interesting hand actually. Tap when you are ready to continue. All right, so that was a loss. We got one loss on the day. There we go. My computer fan kicks on like a gen engine run in this game. Yeah, this game is not great. And the phone version is even fucking worse. Have you seen that shit? Like the most, the first thing you would think of is you can turn your phone. 
So then you can at least see your whole hand, right? You can see the hand. Oh, Palkia V. Okay, this could be a Palkia V. Obviously, I'm guessing V Star, so maybe it's a Chim Pao. I haven't seen Chim Pao for a while. I can't play on the phone. Yeah, that's fair. I like I tried. I tried playing on the phone. You, it, it, it does like this. It cuts your, it cuts your cards off. So you've got like they're all in this tiny screen, and you gotta like cycle through them. It's so badly designed. Okay, that's a huge boost for us. We got the Buddy Poffin, so we're gonna go like that. Um, it is our first turn. I think Iono is probably... We do have two rare candies, which is sweet, but what am I gonna grab with the Arvin? Nothing. Um, Professor's Research gets rid of everything. So we'll just Iono. Hopefully they don't have a lot. Obviously they might, considering they didn't put a bunch on their bench. Did not get any new Pokemon, so we're gonna go Mesa Goza here. We're gonna see if we can get... Please give me the heads. Can we get a heads? We got the fucking heads. All right, we're gonna go and grab Arbok. Bada bing, bada boom. There's like a, a nasty single prize version of this deck that I just haven't put together yet. This was the card I honestly I wanted to build around. Rather than the Arbok EX, I wanted to do this one because this Panic Poison is so fun. Um, and so like I put a deck together and then it was like the Poison thing is not going to stick well. Um... So then I I pivoted to a different direction, but we'll see. Uh, we got Buddy Poffin and Nest Ball. I'm going to put this on here. Uh, I'm going to leave those because I can trade them out for something else if I need. If I need to Ultra Ball. So we got the 20 damage from the burn. Flip the coin. It's dang his heads. Okay, so get the 10 from the poison. And there you go. Two victory bell. Is that the victory bell that does the uh, 120 on the return? One Persian. Is that Persian V? Which Persian is? It? Is that Dark Persian? Hmm. Okay, so we got the Frigibax, we got the Chimpao, we got the Palkia V-Star. Yes, yes, yes. It's so fun having all these really strong single cards that don't evolve in the deck. We love it. We absolutely love it. So, hoping to find a Gengar here. Otherwise, not great. Not great. Alright. Uh, we got Mesagoza in play, though. Gonna flip a coin. Can we get heads? We got heads! Okay, so we're gonna grab ourselves Le Monsieur Gengar, and we're going to uh, use the Arvin to grab ourselves, actually inspect the board. We have a dark energy in that. We can't use that. We gotta go for the rare candy specifically. And the maximum belt, I believe. That is correct. All right, so... So, 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 so. Rare candy. This guy. Put the energy onto that guy. I, this only works for EX Pokemon, I believe. So it's not going to do anything to the V-Star Palkia. But that's okay. So we're going to go 160. And unfortunately, they don't have a useless Pokemon on their bench. So I'm going to have to put it onto the Frigibax. Um, to stop this guy from attacking. Ah, uh, if it even works, you know. Persian who has the ability to get Giovanni's Conviction. Oh, a little disruption. Okay. So the Giovanni's Conviction puts an energy onto your Pokemon and makes them take one off and put it in their hand. And then you use the Arbok e EX and you discard shit. I like it. That's sneaky. Two victory bell. What's the wheezing? Is that the wheezing where you get it up and in the start and everything has no abilities? Or is that the one where it's like if you attack it, uh, you flip a coin and it might knock you out as well? What is with these buddy poffins, please? That's insane. Alright, can we get a heads? Heads, 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 heads. No. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna I might as well fucking buddy poffin. 
grab these two. I already have an Ekans on the bench, so we're gonna grab two Ghastly. If we could get a couple of these evolved, every time they attach an energy, we're gonna get 20, but it takes a little long to set up. I've won games with it, but I haven't had a ton of success early on. And this guy's gonna fucking fall too. That's so fucking dumb. All right, so he's got 190. I can knock him out with this. We're not gonna move the energy. We're gonna put that into the discard pile. Done. There we go. All right. And we're going to go choose two prize cards. What do we get? Atticus. I never have Atticus when I have a poisoned opponent. And I never have a poisoned opponent when I have Atticus. It's the biggest shame. Flip coin. People are scared to attack Weezing because of the coin flip. Yeah. I played that Weezing. That's a fun one. Oh, I had that in a fucking nasty flip coin deck where it was like Glimora and wheezing and something else that flipped a coin and it was just like the most brutal thing to play against they had to flip a coin to do anything it's cracking up i love those kind of decks this is so silly great so there goes the gengar ex oh but we're gonna put a ton of damage on this guy no we're not yes we are very nice all right, we don't have anyone else set up, unfortunately. Um, we have Mesagosa. We really have to hope for an Arbok, I would guess. Um, we're gonna see, though. There's the 360, all of those, both of those. He's got one left, so he can hit whoever is next. Um, we're gonna have to play the Ekans forward. What do we draw? Rare candy, fuck. So we really wanted to play ga uh, Ghastly forward. That's okay, though. Can we get the heads? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, I'm still gonna go Arbok here. Because I'm aggressive. Um, we're gonna evolve this guy. We're gonna go Earthen Vessel. We're gonna get rid of the Buddy Poffin, I think. It's the same thing as the Nest Ball, but better. Okay, so, use your brain. All right, we're gonna grab two energies here. I'm gonna throw one onto the Arbok. Uh, and we're gonna go Darkness, Panic Poison. All right. And nice, nice thing, Tails, nice. And the nice thing about this setup is it's highly unlikely he's gonna retreat it for one of these guys. Um, a lot of the time getting Energies out of the out of the discard pile requires your um, your V Star Pokemon unless you have like an energy. So he's gonna attach those. He's gonna get the knockout. He's gonna have two left. We're gonna hope we can find a Gengar with the Mesagosa um, or the Atticus, I guess. If he's still, he looks like he's gonna attack. So um, we might get to finally use the Atticus again. That'd be cool. It's always too late. crazy man yes yes hell yes I uh, I don't battle people that I'm um, on uh, when I'm on stream just because people have sniped me before and I get distracted and stuff so um, nah I'm, uh, I'm a decline thank you though we got an ultra ball um Shit, okay, let's try Mesagosa. Don't fucking timer me. Can we get a heads? Heads, 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 heads. We got the heads. Oh my goodness, this is going great. So we're gonna go and grab ourselves a Gengar. We're gonna rare candy the Gengar into existence. We're gonna put an energy onto the Gengar. Oh, baby. Um, and then I think we're gonna Atticus. And get seven cards back. Oh my gosh. We got a dark patch. So we actually have a full up Gengar. Perfect. We're going to go Haunter here. We have a boss's orders as well. Hmm. 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 
Um, I'm just gonna go Panic Poison again, because it's not gonna do anything. And I think the damage from what's already on it is gonna... I don't... It might not, actually. They're gonna get to go again. No, they're not. All the energies are gone. Perfect. We'll take two prize cards there. We got the Sneasler and another Atticus. Okay. Very nice. Oh, shit. They got the lady, though. So there's four energies. That's going to hit hard. That's going to hit hard. I hope they don't have a boss's orders. What would I do? I'd probably swap in the Palkia V-Star and attack that thing instead of the Chimpao EX. Um, we did see them discard the V-Star earlier as well, so they may not have may not have what they need. Ooh. So we're gonna get 80 damage on this guy? Dang, man. I never have more than one Gengar in it at a time because it takes so long to... It's so hard to get the Rare Candy and the Ghastly and the Gengar and set it all up, so it's like... Okay, so he's down, and I'm down. I'm gonna go Gengar. Do I want a boss's orders? That's the question. That's the question. Um, we're gonna go Sneasler here. I'm gonna put an energy onto here. Um, maybe we do a Mesa Goza. What do we get? Got the heads. We're getting a lot of Mesogoza heads. I'm liking this. Um, let's go. Let's go another Gengar. Um, do I boss's orders? This guy can attach energies to anyone, but we've already got how many are in here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I can look right here because I'm stupid. Okay. So, 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, I think it's a good idea to boss his orders. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'm gonna hit this guy. And we're done. And we'll see. Maybe they have the switch. Maybe they have it already. And they're all set up. Um, they're using Lady. Switch cards. Yeah, they probably do have it if they're acting like this. Mesa goes that get a Tails. Hey, another Tails. Thank you to the Pokemon gods. All right, Chimpao coming out on the bench. Cannon Yan. So they can obviously they can attach two to here, and then retreats. Um, and they have four, so they can use the Shivering Chill. They can get another two. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Do I get another prize card? I don't think it's going to be enough. <laughs> this is crazy, though. You would think. You would fucking think. That's so funny. Holy shit. All those energies gone. All those energies gone, dude. That's hilarious. That is so fucking funny. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Hey, we got the win. Sneaking in there. Look at that. Take it. Take it. Hell yes. Thank you very much. Whew. All right. Very nice. So we took down Chen Pao. No problem. No problemo. All right. Going up against Faded Wendingo 420. All right, so we got the Moltres out. We cannot put energies back on that. I do need to get all my fucking evolution Pokemon, though. We will be getting rid of the Magma Base, and there's a reason I don't play my stadiums on turn one. Radiant Charizard. Alrighty. Mesa Goza. Let's go. Buddy, buddy, Poffin. We're going to grab an Ekans and a Ghastly, and we're going to go Mesa Goza and see what we get. We got heads. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. I think this is the way to go. Um, and we retreat the ghastly. I'm gonna go Radiant Sneezer. Because I have two Arbok. I would have to go Haunter and then Gengar EX. Oh, we got the head! So we're gonna discard an energy from the Growlithe. They need another energy to use Stoke. That is fantastic for us. Hmm. That is fantastic for us. So I guess the idea next turn would be retreat, put an energy on an Ekans, evolve it into Arbok, attack with the Panic Poison, and then you get the extra 20 from the Radiant Sneasler. Um, so we would do 102 turns and take out the Growlithe. But we gotta see what the Arvin brings in, because if he's going for um, the Arcanine EX, it's not gonna work. He will be confused, but... You see, what would make this card dope is if Darkness Fang, like, stopped them from retreating. If it was like, your opponent's Pokemon cannot retreat. And then it would be a dope one-two punch where you use the Panic Poison, and then if they don't retreat, you use the Darkness Fang to, like, keep them there. That would be cool. There is also a card I was thinking of having in here. There's like a nasty single prizer in theory where it's um, combined with the muck. There's a muck where it's like um, your Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon have one more energy cost to retreat and one more energy cost to attack. I think that'd be pretty sick. All right, so we're going to retreat him for the Arbok. Gonna put the energy on the Arbok, thank you very much. We're gonna go Panic Poison. Growly should be gone. Oh, unless the burn comes off. The burn comes off. Okay, so he survives. Alright, we're gonna see though. Don't have another Ekans. He's switching him out. For the Radiant Charizard. That's interesting because this guy has a heavy retreat cost. I keep thinking whenever I'm playing Arcanine EX decks, I'm always like, they're so efficient in terms of like how often they can use the cards. You really want to have a bunch of Professor's Researches in there. That's literally what I was thinking. And he had one. That's a great, great, great time to use that card. Fuck. So he's got the two Arcanine EXs in play now. Has the Radiant Charizard. Has the Magma Basin. Yeesh, man. And the Magma Basin goes around the Gengar. So if I had the Gengar, I wouldn't be doing extra damage. But that would be dope if it was like 20 and then 20 from me. That would be pretty cool. I'd be pretty impressed with that. Alright, come on, Faded Wendingo. Taking a little bit of time here. Okay, it's our go. It's our go. Got the rare candy. Don't have Mesa Goza. Fuck, all right. I'm gonna put this on Ghastly, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on Ghastly. I'm gonna use Panic Poison for now. So we're gonna get up to at least 50. Yeah, and you got the burn off. That sucks. So, gets up to 50. Next turn, we're going to get it another 30 to 80. 80 plus 70 is not enough. So if the burn had lasted, we would have been able to take the Charizard out next turn. But unfortunately, it's not going to. Um, which is a big bummer. A big bummer for us, yeah. Nah, man, that sucks. I guess when it goes back, he'll still be poisoned, so he'll have to play a new Pokemon, but I would have preferred to attack a new Pokemon um, and get the confusion set up and get everything else set up. I'm not sure what the fuck to do now because I don't have a secondary R-Box set up. I don't have a secondary attacker set up. 
Another professor's research. Getting rid of his own professor's research. My goodness, this guy. There's three of them in, in the deck. There's another Growlithe. This is going to be tough. If I could give you any piece of advice, you'd be throw professor's research in your Arcanine EX deck. And this guy's got three of them, so I can't help him. It's too good. Um, I'm not going to hit him again, am I? I'm going to leave it. No, I guess I I guess I kind of need to hit him. Because he's going to retreat otherwise. He's going to have enough energy to retreat. We don't want that. Oh, this sucks, dude. Tragedy. You know what would have been better, actually, is if I retreated and then I got the Mysterious Beam. Um, installed out, but if I don't get the heads on that, then I fail. So I might as well go for the sure thing. Higher risk, higher chance, but I kind of needed to stall out, so I should have gone for the all or nothing stall tactic. Maybe I get a Gengar here, or... That would have been good, um, a turn or two ago. All right, Raging Claws, he's doing 100, no, he's doing 30 plus the 70. So he's gonna be doing 100 damage to me with Raging Claws. He's going for Arvin. Why is he playing the one with the evolution, the X, XP share first? I keep seeing people do this. They're not playing with the proper XP share. They're just like putting it on a Pokemon and then they put it in this active spot. It's like, why would you not leave him there? I guess he was the one that had the energy already, but I don't know. That's bad planning. Hold on to your items, man. Until they make sense. Hmm. So we're gonna go Perilous Jungle. We're gonna get rid of this Magma Basin. He's only gonna do 100. We're gonna get to keep uh, our Pokemon, we're gonna get to attack again, I hope. Roy Rose, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us today. We are doing a Gengar EX slash Arbok deck. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, it's been an interesting day. Interesting, interesting day. All right, so I guess... Maybe we can use the Atticus next turn. Ooh, that'd be nice. That'd be so nice. That'd be so nice. If he puts the energy on it, and he hits himself, and then I get to use the Atticus, and I get to get seven new cards, that would be fantastic. If he puts an energy on and retreats, I would be very upset. Come on, I'm so close. Just hit it. Just hit it, dude. I'm so close. You got this. Don't worry about the confusion. You're all good. Boss's orders. Is it for the Sneasler? It's not. He went for the Ghastly with no energy on it. Hit yourself. Fuck. Okay. He's going to take out the Ghastly with no energy on it. I still get to use the Atticus. So if I could get a Gengar EX now, that'd be great. While I have the, um, the rare candy. Come on, come on, come on. No, that's not what we wanted. All right, we're going to put the energy onto the Ghastly. We will go Atticus now. Get a new hand. A bunch of Ghastly. We did get a Rare Candy back, and we did get a Jack. So we will have a Gengar next turn for sure. And then we will have just the one card left for the Professor's Research. I love it. All right, um, I'm going to hit this guy with the Darkness Fang. Yeah. Whoo, hoo, 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 hoo. He's got no energies. He's got no energies attached. I'm going to take the two prize cards there. Earthen Vessel and a Switch. Very nice. All right. All right. We're in a very good position. Uh, if he Ionos, I'll be pretty upset. Uh, I may cry. It's a possibility. Has the boss's orders. What's he going for? The ghastly. But you don't have the energy, my friend. Oof, that's a shame. That's such a shame. 
Alrighty. Uh, I could switch. I'm not gonna switch. We're gonna do what we wanted to do. We're gonna go... Oh, we got the Haunter coming through. Okay. Brutal. Alright, so we're gonna go Gengar here. We're gonna go Haunter here. We're gonna attach an energy to the Haunter. We're gonna leave all this shit. I could poison him and use the Atticus, but we have the Professor's Research, so... We use the switch next anyways. I'm gonna go like this. Um, because I can get rid of this energy. I can put it on to someone else. <laughs> he doesn't have the magma basin, so he can't access these. Oh, the two. Just the two. That's fine. All right. In a strong, strong position. We spent a lot less time playing. As we do. We got the nine curse coming in for the 20 damage. Okay, boss's orders. Uh, we're gonna put an energy onto the haunter. Hmm. I'm gonna leave it now. I'm just gonna go for the tricky steps. Oh, I should have bossed his orders for the uh, for the Radiant, but he can't hit me. He can't uh, take me out with one shot, so I, I'm not too concerned about that. Mm. Yeah, he's done. The game's over. Did he not read his... Um, the description? Does he not know he can already use it? I've taken enough prize cards. Crazy. Right, that's the game. GG, Faded Wind and Go. So it's five wins on the day. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Five wins on the day, not bad. It's a pretty fun deck when you get set up and you avoid all the uh, ancient booster capsules, which are crazy. Okay, so that is going to be it from me today. I hope that everyone that came along for the stream had a good time. I had a pretty good time. This is a pretty fun little deck. I very much like it. Obviously, I don't think this is the most efficient version of it. Um, I really wanted to play with that Arbok card, uh, and they share the same type. So I did whatever I wanted because this is Pokemon, and we should be allowed to do that. So definitely recommend taking it out, figuring out a better version, and uh, having fun. It's a fun, It's a fun little thing. There's a lot of interesting ways you could work with this as well. Um, Pokemon that use damage counters and stuff. So, below me on the screen, there are two links. There's a red link that is to my YouTube channel. That is the MD to Never's Place Pokemon YouTube channel. If you like what you saw today, feel free to go and check it out. You can like, you can subscribe, you can click the bell. It will let you know when there are new videos available. My whole back catalog is there. I have multiple different types of decks. I also have multiple Polytopia gameplay videos. Oh, I should have told... That's my bad. So, um, yeah, the purple link is to my Twitch. It's where I am now. I'm here every Saturday at 2 p.m. and every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. So if you want to come, join the chat, hang out, help me with the deck that I'm working on, or give me advice or strategies that's all good, you can do it there. There is also, in the information box, a link to a Discord channel. If you want to get me offline, talk about either of the games that I'm streaming or anything in general, feel free to join and hang out. So like to thank everyone that came along for the stream today and you the viewer at home if you're watching this on twitch or youtube after the fact thank you very much for watching i appreciate the support consider following and liking and subscribing and all that random shit that they want you to do so yeah wherever you are in the world i hope you have a fantastic night's sleep tonight i hope you get a great night rest i hope you wake up very well rested and have a wonderful rest of your week that is going to be it from me today this has been MD Tenebris. I am signing off. So take it easy. Peace out. Adios. Have a good one. Thanks.